YouTube, it's Ron's from Ron's Room. Uh, today I'm playing with some new software. I've got a bunch of photos. Um, we've got a balloon landing in our camp, and I'm doing a little bit of cooking. So please bear with me. Once I get this going, I'm probably going to start another channel called Ron's Kitchen. And I'm also going to be working with a friend of mine doing a art channel. So uh, keep in touch, and uh, we'll see you down the road. Looks like they're going to land right outside our camp. Very cool. Good morning, everybody. Wow. Didn't expect this this morning. Well, you guys have a good day. guys are the uh, tenderloin short ribs basically I took a uh, half of a tenderloin and I butterflied it and I cut, cut it lengthwise into ribs and then cut those in half they're marinated with some uh, olive oil there's garlic there's some Tuscan seasoning and some pepper I got some limes that I'm gonna squeeze over the top as I'm grilling over here I've got two cups of celery two cups of onion and a whole red bell pepper here I have two cups of tomatoes, six cups of chicken stock, some butter, and we're going to be doing three cups of rice. Okay, hot grill here. we'll be right back guys. See you in a I bit. can hold my hand about four inches for about four seconds. I think it's a good, nice temperature. I'm going to start on high so we get a good sear on the meat. I'm cooking for nine people, so 
this recipe will take care of, you know, eight, nine people, ten people. Try not to overcrowd the grill too much, but I might have to, I have a lot. I think I'll get them all on there. Alright, I'm gonna put the cover on it and let those go. Be right back and I'll show okay, you how to guys, get the rice the room. I'm just fixing to start the rice here. I'm going to do uh, three tablespoons of butter because I'm cooking a lot of rice here, so it's going to be a lot of butter. Get that melted a little bit, and then we're going to saute our vegetables until they're translucent. That's the celery, onions, and the peppers going in. And this leafy stuff on top is my uh, celery tops. I'm going to go ahead and use those too. I think they add nice flavor. It's kind of windy today, so this might take a little longer than normal because the wind blows my flame around. And sometimes when, you know, out here as a nomad, you've got to deal with the wind, so... Just turn your flame up a little bit, it'll get going. It's starting to sizzle now. I'm gonna throw a cover on this, and I'm gonna stir it about every three to five minutes. Looks like we're getting a good sear. Even as much as I've overcrowded this little grill, it's working pretty good. It's a little uh, propane. Charboil, that's what it is, charboil grill. That I picked up at Menards up in Minnesota. Well, I'm just gonna get these all turned over and uh, let them cook. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm on high right now, just getting some sear marks. And then I'll turn it down as I go. That way my meat won't get real tough. All right, we'll be back in a minute. Welcome back. I've got my vegetables uh, still sauteed here and they're getting pretty translucent. I'm happy with it. And I forgot to tell you guys that I'm putting in two cans of red kidney beans. I forgot to mention that earlier, so don't forget to have those drained and rinsed. Right now, I've got six cups. Since I'm doing three cups rice, I'm doing a two to one ratio. I'm going to put six cups of chicken stock. And I gotta bring that up to a boil. So just let that go. I'll put the cover back on it, and then when it comes back to a boil, I'll bring it all guys, back. Looks like we got a boil yeah. going here on our broth, our vegetables. So we're gonna start adding three cups of rice. Remember I said we're doing a two to one ratio. That's two cups water to one cup of rice. that a stir and I'm gonna go ahead and add the beans now give them a chance to get a little bit softer um, when they're coming out of the can I think they're still a little tough so I'm gonna let them take a bath in this broth get that all mixed in I'm gonna throw the cover back on it 
bring it back to a boil, and then I'm going to reduce the heat to like a medium and just cover and simmer until the rice is done. Roughly 20 minutes. Okay, we'll be right back with hey guys, more. We're back. I'm gonna take a look at these short ribs. Looking good and juicy. I'm gonna go ahead and get them all turned. And after I get them turned, I'm going to turn the heat down to medium. Get some nice caramelization on the meat. It's looking good. And once you oh, lost one. <laughs> Once you get them turned, you're pretty much done with your stirring process. So you can go ahead and turn the heat down, and then we can just cook them a little bit slow and low until they get just fall, you know, just fall apart. Can't believe I lost the rib. I'll do a happy coyote later. Put the lid back on, and then we'll uh, turn the heat to uh, medium. And get the lid on. Turn the heat down to medium, and we'll just let it sit under the cover hey there, for a guys, while. We're back. Right, we'll be right back. We have a nice simmer on our rice, and we're about 10 minutes into the cooking time. So I'm going to go ahead and add the cherry tomatoes now. This will give us some acid and some sweet, and it will redden up our sauce a little bit for the red beans and rice. So I'm just going to stir this in well. I'll turn the heat up a little bit since the tomatoes are cold. And uh, I'll get it back to a, like a light boil and then, I'll, and then I'll simmer it. Sorry about my clumsy camera. Anyway, that's all mixed in. I'm going to cover this. I'm going to bring the heat up just a little bit more to get it bubbling again. Well, it already is. I don't even have to. Just throw the cover on it and, and let it go. And we're back. And we're starting to finish things up now. Take a look at these uh, short ribs. They're cooking up nicely. And it's getting towards the end of the cooking time, so I'm going to go ahead and start squeezing some lime juice as I'm turning this. Just a little bit of a Caribbean feel to them. Put so those back up. Take a look at that rice. And then uh, we'll see you when we start feeding everybody. Oh yeah, we're looking good. Tomatoes are starting to break down, starting to get a little uh, reddish color to the sauce. And uh, this is looking like it's going to be really yummy. I hope everybody likes it. We'll see you at dinner time, guys. Okay, guys. Bye -bye. We're back. That's the finished ribs there. And that's what the finished uh, red beans and rice looks like. Now it's just time to call the troops. We'll see you in a little bit. Here we are, starting to dig in now. T2's going for the ribs first. You gonna try some of the red beans and rice? Sure. Awesome. Everyone else is gonna start wandering in here in a minute. It's dinner time, guys. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching the first installment of Rod's Kitchen. We'll see you next time. Hill in Sedona. I figured I'd give you guys a little panorama. It is beautiful out here. You should see this with your own eyes. It's absolutely beautiful. I've got mountains and cliffs and valleys and everything all around me. It is very windy.
Thank you.